Hey there, folks. 3D Mechanical Design. Let's dive into the SolidWorks tutorial and whip up a flange T-duct. We're going to break this down into two parts. First, we'll build the 3D model and then we'll tackle the fabrication drawing. So, buckle up and let's get started. Part 1. Building the 3D model. Kicking off with the horizontal transition. Fire up SolidWorks and create a new part. Pick the right plane for your first sketch. Grab that center point arc tool and sketch out your base profile. Throw in a vertical line and make sure it's all symmetrical. Now let's add dimensions. Arc diameter. 20 inches. Distance between points. Gap 1 32nd inch. Hit that OK button and let's move on. Now we're going to use a sheet metal tool to create our first transition body. Head over to Tools Sheet Metal Base Flange. Set it up like this. Direction 1, 25 inches. Direction 2, 25 inches. Moving on to the vertical transition. Create a new plane 40 inches from the top plane. Sketch on this new plane using the same profile as before. Keep those dimensions and relations identical. Now, we're going to use a sheet metal tool to create transition to body. Tools sheet metal base flange again. This time, set direction 1 to up to surface and pick the top plane. Material Removal. Use the Extruded Cut tool to get rid of the extra stuff from Transition 2. Do the same for transition 1.
Flange addition. Adding three flanges. Sketch on the face of transition one. Draw two concentric circles and add dimensions. Use Tools Boss Extrude with these settings. Direction Midplane. Thickness 0.25 inch. Add holes using extrude cut and circular pattern features. You've got your first flange. Now let's mirror that flange to the other side. Last one, add a flange to the second transition using the same method. And just like that, you've got yourself a 3D model of a flange T-duct. Okay, we have 3D model. 
How to create fabrication drawings. Watch next video. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe if you like this video.